Hey everyone, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure, and we're gonna do some metal detecting today. We're gonna be hunting this little field here today for a few hours. It's uh, adjacent to an old high school, the ones you guys seen in the previous video. I've knocked on a couple of doors. No one's willing to either answer. It is Sunday in Texas and that means church most likely, but I wanted to go ahead and press my luck on a few old homes, but they didn't let me. But this field's adjacent to them. And years ago when they put this uh, high school in, they left this field open as a courtyard kind of area between the school and the bus area. I've pulled a lot of 60s and 70s stuff out of there, but I know it's been here forever. The problem is, it's probably been searched forever too. But let's go out there and take a look. It's a hot one, everyone. And I'm working over in this uh, kind of an old field. I'll switch the camera around and let you guys take a better look. But uh, some of these trees are 100 years old. And uh, I always like to check around the base of the trees. I bring in, not a great find, but uh, one of my first signals that I've dug up end up being a 1986 uh, dime. So someone must have been sitting here and fell out of their pocket. Anyway, we'll keep checking, and whenever you find coins, you find ants. Unfortunately, these are fire ants, so I can't be standing here too long. Let's get back to hunting. I had a feeling it was a zinc. It was uh, given a 79 signal. I thought it might be an old copper, and then as I got down, it was given a 74 to 75 signal, which is definitely zinc all day on the AT Pro. Uh, anywhere between 74 and 77 typically is. I'm not gonna get a date on this one. It's pretty toasty um, Anyway, put it in the pouch And we'll keep looking So that's where I dug the zinc penny and as you can see I'm about six feet away and just pulled out This was a 79 to 81 signal bouncing around a little bit But looks like we got ourselves if I can hold on to it A 67 memorial so we'll take it we'll add it to the collection and get back to the hunt working myself in the shade right now that's where i dug the uh, two pennies and about 10 feet down this way i had a nice 51 52 signal sometimes it hit as high as 53 but it never was below 50. that's 99 out of 100 times on the at pro a nickel or a pull tab and out of those 99 times out of 100 probably 70 are pull tabs but guess what we did pull a nickel and I already looked at the date. Thought it'd be older based on the depth being five inches down, but it's an 86. So, nothing fantastic, but it's another find. So let's keep looking. Not a bad tone right here. It's got clad dime tone all day, watch this. I'm sitting at 81. Pretty concentrated signal. So we'll dig it with you guys. A lot of birds out here. Crazy. Let's take a look, see if we got it up. Yep, somewhere in here. Well, that's why it was given a better signal. It's a 61 copper cent. So, I didn't think it was gonna, I didn't think it was, uh, I thought it was a little bit higher than a copper cent, but you know, sometimes on these 60s ones, it just seemed to ring up a little better, or on wheat cents especially. I'll recheck the hole. See if we uh, got anything else. That's everything. We'll be back. Silver continues to elude me, guys. I had a blast at 91, 92 signal, and it was making like a coin spill uh, uh, noise, or at least tone when I was going over it, because it was going dee deep, dee deep, dee deep, dee deep. So I was either gonna find an aluminum ring, and I was passing over the center of it, like where a bolt would go, 
or I thought it was a, a couple of quarters or a coin spill. And it was a couple of quarters, but check it out. It's a couple of quarters, all right. Got a steak quarter here and uh, the Washington. Man, these things, as soon as they hit the air, boom, dried up. And this ground is just really crappy. It's just crumbly falling apart. And uh, But anyway, we'll take 50 cents. And it was worth my time to dig this hole for 50 cents. So let's keep looking. Had a pretty good signal in this plug. I'll let you hear it. Clad dime probably all day. I haven't uh, got in there yet. Figured uh, I would do it live just in case it's a uh, wheat penny or something. But we'll see what it is here in a second, won't we? I see it. It's a penny, but it's just another copper one. Last one was 61. What year is this one? It's just an 82 large date Denver mint, but it's weird. In this soil, the copper ones are ringing up about three uh, points higher than normal. Knowing my copper ones are 77 to 79, and they're going 80 to 82 here, and that's uh, clad dime all day, but uh, not today, I guess. All right, we'll get back after it. Well, I had to chase it. It was, uh, what is that? Six inches down, and it was giving an 81, 82, which sometimes is silver for me, silver dime. But uh, once I saw the orange tint, and I scraped it on the way in, and it's dinged up, but uh, it's a 76 dime. I thought it was gonna be better than that based on the depth, but still made 10 cents. Same thing, had an 85, 86 signal about uh, five and a half inches down. Looks like we got a quarter here. And look at this. I haven't found one of these in a long time. It's a bicentennial quarter. That's pretty cool. I know it's only a quarter, but I haven't dug, I think I've only dug two bicentennial quarters my whole life and it's been over a year. It might be two years since I've dug one. So that makes me happy. I knew it was gonna be a pretty good signal. You can see the imprint on the plug. I knew it was gonna be a pretty good signal. I knew it was a quarter or something silver for sure. And uh, it was a quarter, but the depth was good. I'll take it. All right, guys. So here's where I got that bicentennial quarter. And I rechecked the hole and I didn't hear anything, but as I slipped across it, I heard something else, same depth. And it looks like we've got a uh, dime here. Let me turn off my pinpointer. I don't know if I can get a date yet for you guys. It's drying out in a hurry. Let me see if I can clean it up and get a date for you guys. Hard to see, but it's a 94. So I got a 76 dime, a 76 quarter, and a 94 dime, all within eight feet of each other. We'll fill this back in and keep looking. I'm too hot, guys. I can't go on anymore. I'm out of water. Not a lot of great finds. We pulled, uh, well, I'll get you a wrap up and we'll see what we got, but uh, I probably got maybe a couple of bucks and change. We'll see. Whew. When it's 95 to 100 in Texas, and when it's 90 at 7.30 in the morning, it doesn't matter when you get out. It's just hard to get to detecting until, until September. All right, let's hit home. Maybe I'll get some detecting videos done this week, early morning since school's out at some tot lots and some uh, sports parks or something. Let's see what I found. All right, everyone, here's the finds. Uh, we'll bother you with all the trash, but uh, yeah. Very nice quarter there, huh? We got a dollar and quarters, nothing really old. The oldest one was the uh, Bicentennial Quarter, which uh, I think is pretty cool. You don't find these too often. And then we got six dimes here, and a couple, of, there's a 1970 and a 67 as my oldest ones. We got that nickel, which believe it or not, it's an 86. I thought it was a lot older than that. And then we got a whole bunch of uh, pennies, Honestly, it looks like we got a handful of copper and zinc. 
and uh, nothing really old. Still, handful of stuff. So I guess what we got is a dollar sixty-five, seventy, seventy-five, seventy-nine dollar seventy-nine today. Didn't pay for the gas and the time, but it's still a fun hunt. Wish I would have found something old, but. It's always fun pulling stuff out of the ground. I had some cool junk, but I didn't want to show this video because I haven't washed it up. And quite honestly, I'm pretty beat. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the uh, hunt with me. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching.